train smarter, not harder, let's move from the squat now to a prisoner squat or an overhead squat. Now the benefit of the prisoner squat is that we can be working the upper back as well as the lower body. So it becomes more of a full body workout. And it's also self-correcting in that by engaging through the upper back, um, we're not going to be leaning forward. So some people, when they squat, they tend to forward lean. So one way that I like to correct that before we get to the prisoner squat is just an overhead squat where I try and get the arms straight over top of the shoulders. What you're going to see is this, and if this is you in a mirror, let's try and get those arms straight. Let's get those hands behind, uh, thumbs to the back wall, and we want to stay as upright as possible as we drop our butt directly in between our feet. We want to keep hands over elbows, over shoulders, over hips, over knees, over heels. So we want to just be sliding down and then pushing that earth away. All right, so at the top of the movement, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, squeeze the shoulder blades. This is the overhead squat. We can move that into the prisoner position. Now the common error on the prisoner position is pulling the head forward. So this is quite exaggerated, but this is what you'll see. And if this is you, we need you to open up those elbows. So you're gonna lace those fingers, get them behind your back, and you're gonna really actively squeeze those shoulder blades together so that we're working that upper back. We have to keep the chin up nice and high. We're gonna be dropping those hips down. And man, do you feel this through the upper back by having to actively squeeze those elbows together. So you could be doing 20 reps on a regular squat, bump it down to 10 reps because you fatigue much sooner when you're doing that full body prisoner position. Much better to do fewer reps, better quality. Your muscles will um, thank you and it cuts down on training time. So again, prisoner position, is the key is opening up the elbows, not leaning forward. We always focus on what to do. Uh, if we keep saying, don't do this, don't do that, people tend to focus on the don'ts. So let's talk about the things to do. Lace the fingertips, widen up the elbows, squeeze through the shoulder blade, blades, chin, nice and high, lock those knees and squeeze those glutes at the top of the movement. Get down nice and low. That is the prisoner squat. Let's do it right. <laughs> 